Hello, 8th graders, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're going to talk about systems of inequalities, linear inequalities. Now, now of course, when you're dealing with uh, an inequality, say like, you know, graphing this 2x minus 3y is less than 12 here, there's a couple ways you could attack this. One of them, of course, is to uh, simply express this inequality in slope-intercept form, which would involve, you know, isolating or solving, if you will, for uh, y, so I could subtract 2x. Now remember, if you're doing it this way, you would when you go to divide by a negative value, uh, you're gonna need to flip over this symbol of inequality. So this winds up becoming greater, not less than. And so I would have y is greater than, and here's another thing you gotta remember, you have to divide these, but then you also have to divide the minus 2x by the minus 3, you see. So, uh, 12 divided by negative 3, of course, is negative 4. And negative 2x divided by negative 3 becomes plus, and it's going to be 2 thirds x. Now, in slope-intercept form, you might be more familiar with seeing it look like this, 2 thirds x minus 4. So, when I go to graph that, uh, I can simply find that y-intercept there at negative 4. And it's a slope of positive 2 thirds, so I can go up 2 and over 3, like so. Because, you know, that's that slope right here that I'm highlighting, yeah, that's 2 thirds. So, again, on the graph, I just go up 2 over 3. Okay, so, and now that I have that, I'm going to draw a line, but ex except I'm actually going to make it a dashed line. And I'm doing that because the symbol of inequality here that I'm dealing with, of course, it says is greater than, not greater than, or equal to. When it's greater than, or if it just says less than, it's a dotted line. It needs to be a boundary line. Now, the good news is, is that the side to shade on when you're doing this, it's rather intuitive. When you've, when you've got it in function form like this, that y is greater than or y is less than, and when it's greater than, you're simply going to shade above the line. And if it's, uh, if it's less than, you'll shade below the line. But yeah, all my shading here, like so, is going to indicate that all of this area is going to be my solution set. Make sense? So when I when I choose any point, say, you know, if I try, well, heck, 0, 0. If I drop 0 into the problem, 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0, of course, that's 0. And 0 is less than 12. So, yeah, it kind of checks out, you see. Okay. A uh, little, little, uh. Thing I wanted to mention about uh, you know park tests when you guys do those little standardized tests uh, one thing they'll do with systems of equations they'll throw in things like this uh, you know asking you to uh, I'll just simply mark whether it's no solution one solution infinitely many solutions I will tell you right now you know just you know a little spoiler alert it's always going to uh, it's always going to be one of the three in this case you'll never mark that oh it's no solution and it's you know one solution that's just not going to happen so uh, on this one, I will tell you right now, this one winds up being infinitely many solutions, like so. And this one right here, y equals negative 4, that's just going to be a horizontal line, and 3x plus 1 is going to cross. I mean, it's just going to be one solution, so like that, okay, on those. So just in case you ever see something like that. All right, so I've got a few different um, graphing linear systems questions for you to practice with here. Consider y is greater than negative 2x plus 2 and y is less than negative 1. Feel free to pause the video and uh, try it on your own. Okay, I guess you're back. So let's go ahead and do y is greater than negative 2x plus 2. Again, y-intercept is positive 2, slope is negative 2. So I can go down 2 over 1. Remember, slope is always... Uh, expressed as a rational rise over run when it's negative that it just means it's falling and I'm going to use a dotted line because again this only uh, it's only greater than it does not say greater than or equal to when it's in function form like this of course I can use my uh, use my intuition here and say yes it must be all of these things above it because it's greater than yeah everything above the boundary line so on the other hand this one right here, y is less than negative 1. That is a dotted line with no slope crossing the y-axis at negative 1, just like, it's, just like it said. So my shading for this one, since it's less than, I will shade below that blue boundary line, like so. So the fun part about this, of course, uh, your solution 
is going to be where these little half planes intersect. And by that I mean to say this area right here that I shaded that was purple and the blue. Maybe I should have used red and blue instead of purple and blue, but oh well. Anyway, so all this area here, not inclusive of the dotted lines, of course, is going to form the solution. So, let me try this one. Y is greater than X. Yeah, maybe this one will do like that. Y is greater than X. So that's going to be the identity relation. Nice dotted line like so. Yep. And greater than X. Okay, so I can shade above the line. If you're ever not certain, by the way, just go ahead and test out a point. Just, so like this point here is where it's 0, 5. Uh, so the X is 0 and the Y is 5. Is 5 greater than 0? Yeah, of course it is. So I know I'm shading correctly when I'm shading above the line. Like so. Okay. And then, and for X is less than 1, that's going to be a vertical line. Again, it's dotted. But it's less than 1, so of course on the X axis all the values less than one will be off to the left like so and the solution set of course is going to be this region here i'll do it in purple this time that got double shaded darker region if you will that's going to be where you'll find ordered pairs that work for both of those inequalities. I want you to complete through exercises 155 through 159 using the skills that I've taught you today. And I will see you tomorrow in class. Be good for your parents and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.